Hello! Welcome to Contemplate! I'm Peter, and we are contemplating Goner. And I'm about to attempt this little bonus room right here, and I'm probably gonna fail at it. Believe! I don't remember what I did. I recorded this a couple of days ago. Let's see. Oh! Yeah, I screwed it up. Well, I got, I got one. Yay. So, lately, um... Since I'm in a very large, expensive apartment, by myself, I have been house hunting. It's strangely fun and very stressful. I... Okay, it's been two apartments now that I really, really love. And when I asked the, the... The... The real estate lady, I guess? I don't know what you call them, the... Sales lady? Who was standing right there while I was looking at the place. Um... She goes, oh, I'm sorry, someone just sent in an application that got approved while I was at the apartment. Just sharing. Oh, I think I got the- oh, crap. I think I got the idea of the, con the combo already in this one. I'm being very aggressive. That looks kind of... Hmm, the exit of the warp pipe? Kind of gross. It looks like a prolapsed anus. I should be less gross on the show, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm still trying to figure out what story this this game is trying to get at. I mean, I'm okay. I'm not evil. Uh, well, I'm, I'm friends with a whale at least, and there are other people in the village, and they they, they don't seem evil. They want to be friends with the whale too. And I am descending into. Well, not descending. I guess I'm just traveling. It could be. Well, yeah. Let's go with descending. I'm descending underground and just. Killing things. Eh. Okay, on to world two. By the way, I suggest that all of you watch the Final Fantasy <laughs> Final Fantasy playthrough that Charlie is doing with our friend Emil in the morning at night. He's a very entertaining dude, and I've been wanting to get into Final Fantasy XIV lately. I just don't seem to have a lot of time because I'm, yeah, I'm trying to move, and E3 is coming up, and I work in the video games industry. By the way, we may have a video of me at E3 in the future. Look out for that. Subscribe. Oh, another weapon. Oh, cool. Okay, this is the laser. It doesn't seem to do a lot of... It doesn't do a lot of damage quickly. But I think the the appeal of it is it, it penetrates and it, go, like, it goes through the enemies and it... And it has unlimited range. Then again... It's not super helpful in this kind of game because you want to get your combos in as much as possible. Oh, I just noticed something. Um, things draw around your character and enemies, but I mean the, the level design, the level layout actually draws in when you approach it, unless there's a monster there. But it also seems that anything purple which I guess is neutral life forms that you shouldn't kill. Um, yeah, they, those light, light up the level design too. Speaking of which, speaking of neutral character designs, I'm not sure if the, if the people that I'm killing are bad guys. Yeah, they're attacking me, but maybe it's because they identify me as a, you know, a threat. Because I am running around killing things and even, at the, even if you say, like, from the start of the game, why were they attacking me at the start of the game when I haven't killed anything yet? There's a lot of things that look like me, so maybe a lot of 
Maybe they've come across a lot of these little Reaper dudes. Make up your mind, Peter. Sorry! Didn't be an asshole sometimes, can I? Ooh. Yeah, that definitely looks like something unhealthy, that warp pipe. And I wasted that. Okay, I died. Try again, or visit death. Which one I do, I, did I do? Oh, okay. Hi, death. Sometimes that, that gramophone is playing, sometimes it's not. I keep saying gramophone. 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 Oh, I'm getting daring with the backflippy head. Though I haven't figured out yet, I think, how this head works. Maybe that's why I went with it. Okay. Let's dance here, sure. <laughs> oh! Oh, there! Now I figured it out. I can flip! And double jump, and triple jump! Go ahead, it's not like I'm gonna get a combo out of this. I think I might download the soundtrack for this game. It doesn't. It doesn't, like. It doesn't really play, like, actual music, just this weird, seemingly random. Windows 95 error sounds. <laughs> Did I figure it out yet? Did I learn my backflip thing yet? Nope. <laughs> Go! Oh! There's a button to drop your gun? Weird. Okay, continue. Go! Go, Peter! <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to rocket jump. You have to double jump and then spin, yo! There's also a laugh button, apparently. I'll figure it out eventually. Come on, hop, hop, move! <clears throat> this strange experience, like, I, I'd watch other Let's Players and then I just play games that I'm very familiar with, and I'd just be shouting at the screen like, come on, you can figure it out, and now I'm just doing that to myself, while being recorded. Does anybody else have this format? I don't know. Careful! Oh, damn it! And now I ha I really should go back to the um, oh no, I really should go back to the other head I was using, the one where I don't drop all my stuff because it really puts you into an extreme panic. It's unpleasant. If anybody knows where I could find an apartment, like in Los Angeles, I mean, like the best ways, outside of Padmapper and Craigslist and Zillow and apartments, because I'd be finding really nice places, at least I'd think that they'll be nice, and then I'd show them to other people and then they'll be like, they'll, they'll, there'll always be someone in the room that goes, yo, you could probably find that for like $200 cheaper, whatever. Okay, I shouldn't say whatever. I need their help. I need your help. I need everybody's help. I do not know how to live by myself. Oh. Oh, 
I figured it out. I figured it out. <laughs> this is how you spin in the air, Peter. Bounce, 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 you dead. Okay, bear with me. I've not done this by myself before, and I, I'm still getting used to the whole solo recording. Yeah. watch Cloud Atlas. That's the topic. I recently watched Cloud Atlas and I loved it. It was super vague. And I'm not, I don't love it because it's super vague, but well, kind of. I kind of do. I loved it because like, um, it seems like it's trying to offer a, like, here's a grand presentation. And you can't doubt, you can't deny that. That is very grand movie. There's so many things going on, and yeah, it doesn't immediately it doesn't give you any meaning like off right off the bat. And of course, you could say like it fails as a piece of uh, mass media. I guess. I mean, it 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 definitely has its appeal. It has its charm and like its popcorn charm. But what it's trying to get at, a lot of people say that it's including Charlie, a lot of people say that um, it's so vague that it seems like a huge effort and a huge effort to go through without being clear enough with its message, but I don't know. The way it presented itself to me is like, here, life, make of it as you will. And I'm just bringing this up because, A, topic, I have to come up with something to talk about by myself, and B, this game, it's about death. It's going around killing shit. And it's not telling me why I'm doing it. At least not immediately. Maybe I'm trying to help the whale who seems to be sad? I don't know how killing things is gonna make him happier, but... Oh, and I died. I don't know how killing things is gonna make sad whale happier, but... I mean... The, the popcorn-ness of it, the gameplay... I'm gonna refer to that as the popcorn spectacle of it... Is tugging me along and maybe one day I'll figure this out but for now it just seems like I'm killing things for no reason and there's a sad whale and everything looks great and feels great to control <laughs> So these little boxes, when you jump on them, you get health. Keep on keeping on. Oh, combo room! Murder everything! And there you have it! This will be the last episode of Goner, because I didn't get much farther than this. This game is hard as balls. And that is my first comment on my final thoughts on this game. It's hard, and it really does not give you anything story-wise, and even like equipment-wise and progression-wise, unless you get good. And there's nothing... well, there... I can't say there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I mean, it's, it's a fun game, and then you surely are strung along to get better at it, but it's not for everyone, I'd say. Um, especially for those people that like to play to see the story and see the end of it. For me, it's the journey. Unless the journey sucks and you shouldn't play the game at all. 
so final recommendation, buy it if you like hard games, if you're a, dead so uh, a Dark Souls person, if you're a roguelike person, and you're used to dying all the time, play it. It's worth it. It's cheap. It's pretty. It doesn't look like any other game I know. And it looks like a few comic books I know, but that's about it. Bye!